What's well, up, hey, hey, night? So today we're gonna talk about um, stuff. Like we're gonna teach you guys how to not have more stuff and like to only look up to Jesus. It's not about having more stuff and having more sweets, having more toys or more school holidays, cause that's not enough. What is enough is looking up to Jesus and like having more time with Him and like spending more time with Him. More of everything is not enough. You yeah. need Jesus. Jesus yeah. is yeah. more than enough. With Jesus, you have everything. So more holidays, more sweets, that's nothing compared to, to Jesus. what Jesus has for you. <clears throat> Amen. So in life, more people are always um, thinking about having more stuff or having more money. But actually what you need to do is to look up to the Lord and spend more time with him because people always run after things that they can have. People always um, think that stuff are more important than other people's hearts. So what you have to do as the child of the Lord, you have to be a child that looks up to the Lord and always um, think about Him. More stuff will really just disconnect you from God. More stuff just makes you lose your attention on God and focus on the stuff you have. It disconnects you from God. But with Jesus, with God, and without stuff, it's, God is everything. <laughs> so let me tell you, the world tells you, you know what, the phone that you have now isn't enough. You need to upgrade. The toy car that you have now isn't enough. You need a remote control. But 
What about your time with Jesus? You know, prayer in the morning with your parents, you can consider that enough, but is it really enough? Because we've been saying that more isn't always enough, but more of Jesus is more than enough. So upgrade your time with God. Upgrade your time of reading the Bible. Read more, pray more, and watch the fullness of His love in your life grow. Kid, let me tell you guys something. Okay. So, we need to disconnect ourselves from loving the world we stop. Because the Bible says we cannot love both God and the world. 1 Timothy 6 says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. Contentment basically means you at peace with whatever situation you're in. And great gain is not greater stuff or having more stuff, but it basically means being at peace with the Lord. Great gain is not being connected with more stuff, but being connected to Jesus. Hey kids, I hope you guys are doing great. So look at this land, okay? And so we talked about stuff and how stuff can disconnect us from God. Because it's not bad to have stuff, but don't let the stuff have you. And so what can happen is the more stuff we have, the more we can forget about God. And so in order for this lamp to work, it has to be connected to electricity. So this plug right here is in some way linked that it brings electricity through here. But if I am not plugged in, then if the, plug, if the lamp isn't plugged in, then it won't work. But if the plank is plugged, the lamp is plugged in, it works. Okay, I know you say, oh, this is basic, we know this, but this implies also to our life with God. A lot of times, the Bible says we are the lamp, we should not be, uh, we are the light of the world, and we shouldn't hide ourselves under a lamp or hide away. We should actually shine so that other people can see Jesus. So if a lot of times we just a little lamp and we write here and we, and, and we don't do much and all this stuff has us and we just focus about what we have and, we, and the world is distracting us but we're not connected to God and in order to shine you have to be connected to God He is the main electricity, He is the main source of power and without Him you cannot shine so if the stuff have you, you won't shine but if God has you and you're connected to God, then you will shine bright because you're connected to the ultimate light, Jesus Christ. I hope you guys understand it. Stay connected to Him. Hey kids, what's up? How are you guys doing? Hey Samantha, are you having a great day? Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm so excited. I love this topic. You know, talking about stuff and you mustn't always have stuff and the world is always about stuff you know mm -hmm. and, and i think a, a very very awesome scripture about this is 1 timothy 6 verse 7 i'm gonna tell you what verse 7 says you want to hear what verse 7 yes, says I do. says for we brought nothing into the world and we can take nothing out of it what you can have all the stuff the cool cars, the big house, the everything. But guess what? You cannot take it with you. Eternal life is a life with Jesus, not with a bunch of cool cars and everything. Don't you want to read verse 10 for us? Yes, verse 10 says, For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, and by craving it, some wander away from the, from the faith and pierces them with many pains. You. So you're telling me that that scripture says that the love of money actually just draws people away from God. Yes, it does. What? Like you just get distracted because everyone wants everything. So they, they, they don't go to Jesus for everything what? they want. Yes. So, so, so it's not money that's bad. It's the love of money. Yes, if you love money, you basically you'll do evil things. You also, yes. okay, so it's actually, this is what it is. It's not about... Uh, it's not bad to have stuff, yes. but don't let the stuff have you. Yes. Wow. Basically, what it says is you have to trust God with your money. Okay. So if you trust God with your money, then you'll do good things with the money. That's so if cool. you just love money and you just want more money, yeah. you'll just be greedy and oh you'll my. never give to oh people. Oh my word. Yeah, no. yes. I don't want to be greedy. 
I don't want to be selfish. I want to give. I want to be generous. And I want to just have my stuff belong to God. My 100%. You know, like that giving plan they spoke about last week with a jar, yes. where they're like, you must just start saving money yeah. so you can bless people. Yes, That's I what I'm going to do. All right. Shit. Well, thanks, Samantha. I'll see you next week, eh? Okay, I'll see you next week, too. All right, bye. Yay. Oh, my gosh. Look at all my stuff. I've got dresses upon dresses, shoes upon shoes, jewelry upon jewelry. Look at this stuff. Just the top of the range. My necklaces, my bangles, my watches. I just, I just want more. Oh, you know what? I have all this stuff, but I'm still feeling so lonely. Maybe there's more to life than having all the latest things, having all this jewelry and these dresses. Something, there's something more to it. There's something more that will fulfill me. You know what I need to do? I need to repent. You know, it's okay to have all this stuff, but I mustn't let this stuff control me. I mustn't let this stuff have me. Jesus must have me. I need to change. So after you heard all these things we're talking about, can you ask yourself, who's this God? And you want to have a relationship with the, with this God we're talking about? Just please repeat after me and close your eyes. Dear Father God, I come to you. I no longer want to live the life I used to live without you. I want you to be the main point in my life, to be the sense of attraction. And I put you in everything I do. I put you first, Father God. May you lead me in your ways, Father God, so I can love like you, love like you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hey kids, I hope you guys really enjoyed the topic. It's not all about the stuff. And remember, this week you need to connect it to Jesus. See you soon.